and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some lucian nocturne we got a brand new deck here this was a donation deck a viewer submitted one that looks really cool we're going to be in an aggressive shadow isles demacia deck um low to the ground but still have some good card advantage and stuff our curve stops at four that's right we don't have any cards that cost more than four nocturnes just the very top of the curve um, but like looking at all of our units, so at the one mana slot we have Fleet Feather Tracker and Stygian Onlooker, both good one drops. At two we have Lucian, just Lucian because there's we have so many good spells at two, but just Lucian at two. But then at three, Doom Beast, Scribe of Sorrows, Senna, all good cards, then Grizzled Ranger and Nocturne at four. The one that you're maybe a little surprised about is Scribe of Sorrows, but because we all we have all good quality units, um, cheap all one through four whenever we summon scribe of sorrows we're going to be creating a you know it's going to be a three mana two three that's drawing a good card because we're going to be having uh, only good cards that will be dying so it'll be interesting to try this thing out it is a little bit smaller than some of your other options at three mana draw a card you know like we could have like vanguard redeemer draw a unit but this only works if we had an ally die this round scribe of sorrows will work all of the time um, Vanguard Sergeant draws a card, but it's drawing a four Demacia and not, um, you know, not an ally that had died this game, which could be more valuable. Uh, but yeah, so we have, uh, 23 units, 17 spells. So you can see that's a lot of spells for an aggro deck. Um, three of our spells are fading memories. Those turn into more units. Uh, three of our spells are stalking shadows that those turn into more units. Um, and so, like, uh, Unspeakable Horror can create another unit with, with that Nightfall also. So we can still create more units, um, but we're going to have a lot of spells, which means that whenever we're mulliganing, we're definitely going to want to look for our units when we're mulliganing. Tracker, Onlooker, Lucian, um, Senna, those are going to be really important to find when we're mulliganing. So let's get to it. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Let's see how this brand new Demacia Shadow Isles deck does. Looks like we got a very quick pairing. So that works out well. All right, Michael, take care. And let's see how we do. Okay, so we're gonna. We're gonna kind of want to keep all of this, actually. Maybe we mulligan the Nocturne, but we have our one drop. I like. I just really like both of these spells. The thing is, is I probably don't want to play Fleet Feather Tracker on turn one, so that we can have on. Speakable Horror Drain. And get rid of this. So yeah, I'm going to pass. We're going to play Tracker on turn two. We're not attacking on turn two anyway. That one damage will be canceled out by the Drain. That was the problem with not playing Tracker. <laughs> is that now we drew Lucian and we can't play Lucian. All right, we'll just do this. Cool. It looks like our deck can play a longer game. Got some decent card advantage in here. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Don't get in my way. That's gonna kind of hurt. Oh, floaty crystals! Stand and fight. How are we dealing with this 3 5 Eye of the Dragon? Not quite sure yet. So I can, I, I can attack and challenge, and we definitely know that Scribe of Sorrows will create a Flea Feather Tracker. Or I could like attack and. Mm, uh, yeah, maybe we just do that. See what this gets us first. Okay, I got a Grizzled Ranger. Burn away the shadows. It's probably not even worth the damage, honestly. It's actually, probably just not even worth the damage. Mind and open heart, great the night. The spirit gives to those who listen. Alright, 
buffing that thing up. Now they'll get two Dragolings. What is gained when you return malevolence? All right, we're going to try to kill the Trickster and kill one of these Dragolings. Which, maybe I should be doing the one damage. Yeah, no, never mind. I was going to say, maybe I should do the one damage to the Eye of the Dragon so we can block it, but no, that doesn't make sense with the gem. I should still do four damage. A second Pale Cascade? Wow. Quite a hand. I know your true heart. This is because the trickster was elusive and we wouldn't be able to deal with it Breathe at all. Out. Um yeah, maybe I should have done these dragons. Let's see, so we have one thing die for Lucian so far. So we're gonna have. So so far, okay. Our only thing that's died has been has been that Lunari Priestess. So I can go Scribe of Sorrows and grab another Lunari Priestess and play Lunari Priestess right now. And I think that's what I want to do. I think I want to just invoke again. A little luck for those who need it. Maybe better to grab Trickster than the Obliterate. The Obliterate's a lot better against Lee Sin if they have a Lee Sin. I think that's what I need to be worried about right now. They say these were from the Protector himself. What is gained when you return malevolence? Heed the bard. It is time. All right, this isn't Not so great. Mean well. Defiance is our way. Go ahead, scare me. Tough isn't going to save anything. If I want Lucian to level up first, I block like this. If I want Lucian to level up. So I'm gonna have to probably gonna have to fall in comet on this trickster eventually. There's a chill in the air. Well, we're gonna have to fall in comet on that thing. I wish <sighs> these Rangers resolves are just the worst spell for us to draw. <laughs> they just don't do anything in this matchup. It's unfortunate that, that, that we've drawn three of these. This is the one matchup where it really doesn't do anything. I think the best thing that it does, I guess. I guess the best thing that it does is it turns on my unspeakable horror.
force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. No, I don't know how to deal with this trickster. You know, I needed to deal with it before. They had the double. Yeah, they just had a great hand. Just every every card I had, they had a good answer for. That double bell cascade was incredible. And... Ashes. GG's. I don't think I've ever seen Eye of the Dragon be that good. Like, it's... It's a good card, but I don't think I've ever seen it be that good. That was... Incredible. Another Nocturne Diana deck. Let's keep this Scribe of Sorrows. Alright, pass turn. We'll go Flea Feather Tracker into Onlooker on this turn. Tracker's just going to trade here. Oh. Does mean that I'll, we'll be able to create another Tracker next turn. And the more Trackers, the better. Our deck's pretty cool. It's a little different. I'm not sure if we'll end up having enough power. You know, over the long haul with these games. Really not, you know, enough card advantage and everything. We'll, we'll see. We can do some pretty cool stuff. I wish we could be playing Pale Cascade, but that's a Targon card. That's like the card that would... That would make a big difference in this deck. That was kind of the card that my opponent used last game that was amazing and... Could use it again here. So it looks like that's what they're setting up. No, okay. Love to t take down this 5-3 while we can. Awesome. No Unspeakable Horror either. I figured since when they didn't Unspeakable Horror and let me do the, you know, let Tracker kill and let that hit. I figured they didn't have one. I'm what nightmares fear. You wish Onlooker just kept the, the buff? Permanently, it would just always be the 4 1 fearsome. It's already a pretty good card. That would definitely make it much better. Ouch. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Sentinels of Light. Don't fear the dark. Rangers Resolve last turn would have kept my Senna alive. Don't turn around. Would have been useful last turn. Stop Go ahead. Scare me. I love having that ephemeral blocker. Last game we had the Stalking Shadows grab us those two Grizzled Rangers. Didn't have time to play them. This game looks like we'll have a little bit more time. Love to have that now. Okay, I like that. Can play both our champions. Not a problem when you're by my side.
we're going to do this. I guess we just play this now into an open attack. And we... Uh, do we want to be challenging their 3-3 three, three elusive or their nocturne? I think it's got to be the 3-3 three, three elusive. For truth. Purity and peace. All right, so if they kill Lucian, then uh, Senna, you know, will have the double attack. Must we fight? No mercy, Definitely not going to let them play another. We know they have at least they have one more ephemeral. Not going to let them play that. Okay, two out of four for Lucian. Sunward. No, Senna shouldn't go first. Senna should go second. Because if you think the opponent wants to kill Lucian, they don't want to kill Senna, they want to kill Lucian. And so since they want to kill Lucian, they're likely going to kill Lucian. Then you want the Senna to be able to buff up Lucian afterwards. Or sorry, you want the Lucian to, sorry, you want the Lucian to be able to buff up the Senna after they would kill him. So basically, like, if, if you attack side by side and, like, let's say they have... I mean, this isn't a Frostbite deck, but, you know, like, they would block and have a Frostbite. Or in this case, maybe, like, block and, like, some Pale Cascades or something. All right, got to use this for the tough. Let's drain from the elusive. Yeah, I just need to turn on Nightfall. Um, but they're going to want to kill Lucian, and so you're going to want... You want to punish them for killing Lucian. I guess that's the way to say it. You want to punish them for killing Lucian by then having your 5 power double attack afterwards. Wow, I wish... I wish I could cast this Cosmic Inspiration, but I can't. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Another moon veil. Could do with the Serpent. What a draw for us, though. That one Nightfall card killed their elusive and got me a 2-1 and let me stun these two. What a draw. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Oh, darn, I got a Nightfall card. I mean, Grizzled Ranger is a great draw too. So now they don't have spells. Um, yes, it doesn't really matter now. Because they, they don't have spells. So it really doesn't matter which one you attack with first or second now. But in general, you want to attack like this. So I guess, so like, they block your Lucian, they frostbite your Lucian, or they use a pump spell, whatever. They keep their Lucian alive, and then you punish them with 10 power. Because if it's the other way around, they can just take the 4 from the Senna, and then do that and kill your Lucian, and they're only taking four instead of taking ten. Is there not an option to turn off emotes permanently? I mean, I know you can you can mute people like that. Is there not an option in the menu to just have them muted? Will be 
All right, well, that's a, that's a terrible draw, but I can't be too mad because we just had two great, great draws in a row. So, can't be mad. Whatever the cost. Ours is the one true light. All right, these Rangers resolves have looked horrendous. <laughs> they do turn on Nightfall, though. No. We're going to get obliterated. Okay, well, couldn't draw two bad cards in a row, I guess. Okay, at least now we're, we're playing a matchup where Ranger's Resolve is really good. We've played against two matchups where Ranger's Resolve has not been necessary at all. This matchup, Ranger's Resolve, is very good. Um, I'm going to keep all these. I'm going to Fading Memories, their Petty Officer. If you play Bilgewater, you always get Petty Officer on turn three. It's a requirement. Even if you don't want Petty Officer on turn three, you're getting it. Push back the darkness. That's how it is. Adeline coins incarnate. This is mercy. If you don't. I need more runs. Got two one. Okay, ready. Go Senna Onlooker. No one's the wiser. Purity and peace. Sorry, Onlooker. You're going to have to. Look on from the bench. Man, more one mana cards? Yeah, man, that's a pretty great turn four. A 3 3, a 2 1, that's, you know, as good as Legion Saboteur and a Make It Rain. And another Petty Officer? It never stops. In a world full of monsters, I'm glad I have you. That'll never change. So we are going to single combat, kill the 3-3 three, three to level up Lucian, and also Unspeakable Horror, this thing. They've had a super low curve with the double parlay as well. I don't have any good blocks against the two 3-2s. I am at 19. So we can take six, seven. We take seven. Stand and fight. It's only one additional damage to have the Lucian be have two health instead of one health. That's definitely worth it. Okay. Stalking Shadows plus Nocturne. 
Yeah. I'm always up for a round or two. All right, not 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 nocturne. Hold it, partner. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. When others threaten, we must take action. We get an additional attack, but we're not doing anything with that additional attack. They attack out, I can have the priestess. Okay, I was gonna say I could have the priestess block first. So our Nocturne's almost leveled up. It just only needs five more Nightfall allies to attack. So we're almost there. Does this... Am I going to get a, an extra attack here? No, the round ends, right? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, let's mess some folks up. Enough! I'll end this! Yeah, looks like you probably will. Time to get rowdy. No one is safe. Hmm. What can we draw? You do thirteen damage. Need to draw more illusions. Okay. Bring in the heat. Oh, why? Why is the illusion attacking first? What am I doing? Yeah. Why am I attacking illusion first? Illusion needs to be last. Actually, this this works. Okay. Does this work? Yeah, it kind of works. So we get Captain Farron out of here. Another Lucian? Nope. Okay. Leaf Feather Tracker's Onlooker? What does that do for me? And they're at seven. I think this gets it for me. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly so. Sweet. Oh man. That was a crazy game. Really cool last turn that we were able to do that 13 points of damage with some some tricky stuff. That was definitely cards that I w weren't really used to playing together. <laughs> But it worked out. So there you go, Jack. We got our four leaf clover. And we pulled it out. We No, we we had lethal. We're gonna be able to do seven. Yeah, I got our three attacks in one turn. What well, yeah, not used to those cards being together, and so I was a little um you know, hesitant and, and everything, skeptical of what I was doing, but it did work out just fine. 
maybe we just keep Senna and try some new cards. It's just, what's this game, like, how are these cards going to match up against Petty Officer? You know, like, do, single combat helps against, like, their removal spell. Um, this can drain and keep us alive later. I don't know, we're not doing anything the first couple of turns, but maybe that's okay with having the single combat. We can save the two mana for single combat. I guess I just play Fleet Feather Tracker. This is better than not playing Fleet Feather Tracker. Ooh. Okay, so I could have a Fading Memories Fleet Feather Tracker and then a Stygian Onlooker, which this plan would be great except for against Make It Rain. So if they have Make It Rain, I'm going to want to just single combat here. But if they don't have Make It Rain, this is a great plan. I'm going to say they don't have Make It Rain. That's what I'm going to say. No make it rain, please. No make it rain. Please let this go. Please let this go. Okay. Reporting for duty. The They're just killing their 2-1. So we would be able to just challenge it. So we're both basically with 5 cards. You know, they have 4 in hand, 1 in, in play. I have 3 in hand, 2 in play. Alright, Petty Officer still being great. Making the dead deader. Clear it out. Double pay for the next kill. down a card if you count this 03 as a card go ahead scare me you'll regret when i lift this gotta go with the flow i was playing the onlooker to turn on at the doom beast They are down to eight. Stalking Shadows. Okay, we'll take Lucian. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Not a bad option either. Brown too much. Your face will stay like that. <laughs> Unlikely with you around. So I want to play Doom Beast, but then that opens me up to them having three mana spell. I'm worried about Death's Hand and Noxion Fervor with these. I'm not really worried about two mana spell with Mega Rain being the most likely one. Um, Fading Memories could be pretty good. Do I want to do that before combat? So I can Fading Memories the Doom Beast to drain him for two, or I could Fading Memories the Senna and be able to have another four-power attacker with the Senna that's going to be Ephemeral and a level up Lucian. So that's also really cool. Uh, that gives them the ability to play another blocker. If I do that... attack like this. What if I get Zap Sprayfin? Why are you here? We live here. Sprayfin would draw Fading Memories, Rangers Resolve, Glimpse Beyond, Single Combat, Stalking Shadows, or Unspeakable Horror. It would draw any of my 17 spells. Get your work, run if you 
Is the random spell better than Drain 2 that Doom Beast is? Because I kind of feel like the answer is yes. That the random spell in my deck, like Ranger's Resolve, probably not as good. But Ranger's Resolve could be good depending on what they got going on here. But like Glimpse Beyond, that's probably worth. It's probably better than a Drain 2. Stalking Shadows, Unspeakable Horror. Like, Unspeakable Horror is a Drain 1. that also creates... Oh no, that's a tough call there. Oh, how about that? There, Make It Rain is hitting my Lucian and my Senna. How about that? So I can sacrifice Senna and then just draw two And I'll keep Lucian alive. That was the worst possible make it rain for us. I mean, I could only get one Doom Beast. I couldn't get two. With, um, with my fading memories. You monster! Sentinels! Okay. Scribe of Sorrows. No one's the wiser. Gotta go with the flow. I rarely forget and never forget. Four out of five. It's going to be annoying to deal with. Alright, so the Saboteur is going to level that up. When it attacks. Everything's in place. Boom. Okay, so can we get these last three points of damage in? We're down to seven. Hey Biz, I'm doing good, how are you doing? We're gonna have a close one here. Yeah, of course, of course, if I would have grabbed the Doom Beast with the Fading Memories, that would have worked out for us, but I didn't. Uh, but I didn't. Alright, let's mess some folks up. It's gonna do five. I can single combat and make it four. The things that do two damage to me, like the things that do damage to me usually do one damage or three damage to me. Imperial Demolitionist is, is the biggest problem. Yeah, Noxion Fervor. That was going to do 3 damage to me either way. 
So I could have won that if I would have Fading Memories, the Doom Beast. But I played for the longer game, as you could see, because all I, I only knew one Fading Memories. I didn't know I was going to have another Fading Memories. Cool, glad you're liking the editing there, Biz. Good. And yeah, you, you're, you're liking the intro. Awesome. Uh, let's see. So we have Senna, Doom Beast. So that's unfortunate. That's a game that I definitely could have won with different decisions, but I didn't. So how are we going to defeat the deep deck? I don't really like just keeping all three mana units. So we're going to keep a couple three mana units and a four mana unit instead. That sounds like a better idea. Did he an onlooker? Guess so. Lots of Grizzled Rangers. Get bloody. Unfortunately, Get we're bloody. playing against an opponent that can just go a lot bigger than. Grizzled Ranger. You don't see Hired Gun too much in deep, but I always like it in deep. I feel like it's a good two-mana unit that uh, they're kind of missing out on. It's a quick pass. I'm what nightmares fear. There really isn't... Like, Jaw Hunters is going to be the card they're going to play. Yeah. Like, there's... That's... Like, there's no reason for them not to attack here. So, like, they're going to be playing the Jaw Hunters. That's why they passed. So that's okay. I didn't want to wait. My hand is a hand where I we can't afford to also pass. So it's just our Senate trades with Jaw Hunters. That's just the way it is. All right, let's mess some folks up. Hoping that those were just expensive things they don't get to play right now. Wow, there were two thorny toads. Yuck. So that means the other one's an ephemeral, an ephemeral thorny toad. I think they got me. I don't think Grizzled Rangers are going to get through. Yeah, I think they got me. I mean, it's just what's what's the point? I mean, so we turn this into a one-one, and then we have the three-four that. I mean, we kill. I guess we kill it. I'm in the same room, Biz. I just just moved the camera a little bit. This is, this is the same room. I just moved the camera like one foot over to the right. And propped it up a little bit. No, they have the the ephemeral one for. Great question. If you could live in any region in Rune Terra, what would you choose? You could go Nocturne and Onlooker. Dang, that's a lot of unspeakable horrors.
That's a good question. You're torn between Shadow Isles and Targon. You'd want to live in the Shadow Isles? You want to live in the Shadow Isles, right? I guess. Biz with a donation! Dude, Biz, thank you so much. You choose Piltover and Zon? I think I, I would probably choose like Ionia. Ionia is probably pretty cool. It's like the least war stricken. I don't really want to live in a place of, of war. It seems the most peaceful place. Thank you, Biz. I want to... I want to go higher gun? What do I want to copy? I want to... Fading memories, copy, and then drain. Um, I guess it's onlooker. Actually, I guess it's Onlooker. If I would have had one extra mana, I would have copied their Devourer Depths and then replayed their Devourer. You know, replayed Devourer, but didn't have that extra mana. Sentinels of Light don't fear the dark. Oh, right. That thing's ephemeral. Well, whatever. <laughs> I was going to play it and then open attack. <laughs> That didn't work. All right, these are all, yeah, these are, these are all pretty fearsome. Let's go, Nocturne level up. So their 4-3 can block one thing. Yeah, get rid of that vengeance. Don't wanna see that around here. I have Pale Cascade that can do a couple damage to them. I can drain them for two. Because remember, Unspeakable Horror can hit the Nexus. So I also have an additional four damage here in hand in case they have, like, removal. The problem is Grasp. Okay, Withering Whale. Is that a problem? Not really. Uh, we'll Pale Cascade here. That's good. I, kind of, I hope they have Vile Feast. No, because actually, no, Vile Feast would kill these. Never mind. I want them to be able to gain, like, one more life, and so I could actually have an unspeakable horror kill. So that would have been cool. So still kind of getting used to the deck, but honestly, once, we, once we're getting used to the deck here, this... Because that's a 2-3 that definitely could have been a 3-2. If I would have played, if I would have just done like the more obvious play of Fading Memories, the Doom Beast, whenever they're at 3 life, because then we would have gotten, in, we would have drawn another Fading Memories. Um, you know, if I would have done that more obvious play, that would have worked out for us of us winning that other game. So it could have definitely been a 3-2. Get to do some cool stuff. This is a deck, you, it's a little tricky to play. A little, like Nightfall's, Nightfall in general is a difficult mechanic of like how to play Nightfall and how to line things up. It's not just straightforward, um, you know, play one man, you know, one mana, use that on turn one, play my one drop, turn two, play my two drop, turn three, play my three drop. You know, it's not straightforward at all. So it's already a difficult mechanic. And then um, kind of putting in like the extra stuff with the Lucian level up and the Senna in here. Then you got your scout attacks with your Grizzled Ranger and just how you're going to get our, everything uh, going. This one's kind of a difficult deck to play. But it does have a lot of good synergy and a lot of good power as well. I think I'd probably like to see another unit or two maybe instead of the Fading Memories. Not sure I was too big of a fan of those, how they just make the Ephemerals that just die right away. But with that being said, I, I do understand the Fading Memories does help turn on the Nightfall uh, for you. But I kind of would want another two mana unit besides just Lucian. But maybe there's not anything that, that's that amazing. You know, you could have like your Bright Steel Protector. This could def this deck could definitely be playing Bright Steel Protector um, to be able to give barrier to like your Fleet Feather Tracker. 
and just be a nice 3-2 attacker. Um, I don't know, that's, this is a, a nice little deck that's, that's you know, something different and uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to and get warmed up with. I think we saw that throughout my games here, but uh, it has some good power and has some good synergy and liked what we had going on. And we did get to have that leveled up Nocturne attack, which that's always fantastic having that. Uh, but there we go. That's Lucian Nocturne. Uh, I was impressed. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well if you give the deck a try yourself. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you think about it. Um, other other decks you want to see on stream. If you got other any other cool ideas with champions you don't see too often together, like this Lucian and Nocturne, feel free to leave those comments as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.